We just mentioned two words that we haven't explained yet, which are business intelligence, or BI, and predictive analytics. Let's explore these. When we talk about people analytics, there are a few themes that stand out. First, reporting. Managing people using data starts with the data. This data is often reported in an HR report or HR dashboard. Advanced systems allow you to play with the data yourself. You can slice and dice the data into different groups and segments and find out what the turnover is for different groups, absence behavior, if people still have the right certification, etc. This data can be visualized and used to help executives, management, or other end users make informed decisions. This use of static and interactive reporting to make better decisions is referred to as business intelligence. The limitation of business intelligence is that it mostly looks at the past and the present. This is referred to as descriptive analytics. It looks at the state of data today. It doesn't look at the relationships within the data. It's therefore very hard to predict the future using business intelligence. For example, we cannot see if training is associated with customer satisfaction with BI. To do this, you need advanced analytics. An example is predictive analytics. Both business intelligence, descriptive analytics, and predictive analytics are part of people analytics. An example of this is predicting which employees are likely to quit the company. As a business partner, you'll have access to the HR reporting and dashboards. The People Analytics Unit will be occupied with more advanced analytics. This requires the combination of multiple data sources, for example, HR data and customer data, which isn't readily available. They'll also be occupied with running predictive analytics, for example, by looking at which characteristics may trigger people to quit prematurely.